And I think that's the deal right now. Ban out like a uh, uh, life stealer. Maybe I wouldn't hate it because the burst damage of spawn is actually quite solid. So the life stealer can have the long fight. Uh, Ursa is a good pick for spawn, but it doesn't lane well against the bat. Range heroes, the big ones are taken out. They ban out the uh, the Viper. Okay, so they are uh, they're just expecting the Nature's Prophet to still be the carry. No, Bat isn't the highest of armor heroes, and against the Nature's Prophet Tusk, he would still be smacked down. But you always have to be careful. Level three, level four comes up, and you can die. <sighs> What's it gonna be? They ban out the Medusa. Okay. Wasn't expecting that one, but I guess range carry is something that the Reaper might look for. Luna would be another one. Luna would actually be a really good pick and, a, I mean, overall a good ban for spawn. You have a tree and protector laning with you. Primal Beast also benefits a lot from the Lunar's Blessing. Yeah, I, I, like, I like the Luna quite a lot here. Also, spawn wants to gang on a hero, right? And if you are close to each other, the glaze start bouncing up, you're in trouble. Plus, you need a, a big farming hero for uh, for Reaper, for sure, that is good in the lane. You need to do well in the lanes so that you can protect your map for the... Uh, until the minute 15 mark. I love the Luna, actually. Even though it's not a conventional hero currently. Don't know what else is, uh, is left there. Hmm. Oh, is there anything else that you're afraid of? They ban out the Spectre. Okay, Spectre would be decent. It's actually one of those heroes that can lane with the Treant, because you're both tanky, and then you can run into the enemies. Hmm. Are they going to go for the Luna, or are they going to go for something else? Um, Monkey King seems okay-ish. EA. Okay. Okay, I'm fine with that. You don't have much overtime damage on the uh, on the side of spawn. Anti mage, man, this is this is a killer anti mage game, really. Like TA after minute twenty, once you get a Scotty on the AM, is just done for. You have so many people to create. Space. Come on, please do it, spawn Jukro. I know you can play this hero. I know he's not gonna do it, and. But it would be so cool. It actually does lane relatively... Oh, or a PL. PL. Imagine a PL. PL actually looks even better. Not a hero we see too often, but lane's okay against the bat. You have a way to remove the, uh, the sticky napalms. TA is not a hero against you. Primal Beast is kind of the only one. You buy a Manta naturally, so you don't care about the Trent, Trent Protector. The only thing you care about is the um, smoke screen. That is a problem for you. But I guess the, the rest of your gang can, can actually kill the Ricky. Smokescreen is, is quite annoying. Those would be some cool picks. There is still a Life Stealer in the pool, but he doesn't really go through the Refraction Charges all that easily. Not a direct TA counter. You still could be playing a Nature's Prophet carry. It's not out of the, the uh, picture. You just get a, a standard offlaner. Mars comes uh, in mind as a as a potential one. Good to carry the treant later on. Dive in the trees. Uh, stop the primal beast. Stop the TA from doing damage. I mean, it's uh, it's not bad. Lanes well with the Marana. Have good catch between the two of them. Wouldn't hate it either. But my previous ones, I would be much more excited with with something like a PL, with something like an anti mage. It would uh, it would make me smile. See that beautiful smile, it's, uh, now you're all hoping for those two heroes as well. Um, and, what's gonna be? Monkey King. Okay, I never would have said Monkey King. It, it's a good hero against the TA, but it's a bad hero against the Bat Rider. So, um, uh, hmm. You still send the bat into the mid lane, so it's gonna be fearless on the bat. I thought maybe they sent the bat into the off lane to deal with the Monkey King, which he can deal with later on in the game. I still think Spawn are getting this. Queen of Pain will crush the Bat Rider. Monkey King will crush the uh, Primal Beast. Maybe not crush, but still do relatively well. Uh, TA will do well in the lane against the Nature's Prophet, but that doesn't matter. When the game progresses, the Monkey King is a problem for you. The second he gets the... Uh, 
he gets the Scotty in this game. The, the game just ends. Batrider and the TA can't do anything. The only way I see Reaper winning this one is if they absolutely snowball after minute 15. But I think that at that point, they're already going to be enough behind that the Batrider isn't going to be able to make plays. So, rally around the mid lane, I guess. But when I look at the supports of spawn, they're just much better. So, I'm... Uh, I'm all in on spawn here. I think last time the drafts were closer to each other, but spawn's still a better team. Here, I think they've uh, they've actually won that one, and it's uh, it's not looking good for uh, for Reaper. Not not by a long shot for sure. So we'll see. We'll see. Reaper. Maybe they can win their first game. Maybe. Uh Maybe they can't. I personally think it's it's not going to be uh, that easy in this game in particular, but we'll see. You get to the 15-minute mark, Riki becomes this uh, annoying nuisance. He connects on people. You have the smoke screen to kill the Queen of Pain, to find the monkey, to find the Nature's Prophet. You can win, right, if you're fast enough. Maybe we see something weird like an Aghanims onto the TA. Wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be out of the uh, picture completely. Wouldn't hate it for sure. But uh, we are going to be waiting a little bit before we get into the game. Seems to be uh, something happening. I don't know if the pause was used. Okay, now we're uh, we're gonna be getting into it. So you can expect in just a couple of seconds for us to uh, be getting into game number two of Reaper versus Spawn Team, and uh, that is our last game of the day. Unfortunately, only four hours of Dota today at the uh, at the BTS Pro Series Season 14 Southeast Asia. But what you gonna do? Well, uh, it's still fine, guys. Cause uh, I hope you uh, had a lot of fun. Tomorrow, I don't know if I'm uh, I'm here tomorrow. Yeah, I am. Me and Kips are, are coming back here tomorrow. Hopefully her internet is uh, is working well. If not, ah, you might head. find a replacement or you're going to be stuck with me. Uh, casting these games. Anyways, though, Reaper Spawn it is going to be uh, starting out right now. And we'll see if uh, there's going to be any fights here happening. The early... Uh, the early start, Gondry and Toy, they're thinking about protecting the trees, protecting the nature, but the nature's prophet wants to take it down or turn it into living beings, or moving beings, they're still living beings anyways. Now the uh, treants are going to be spawned. You have a treant and you have a treant protector. They both blossomed, some beautiful flowers are there. Gondry. Going forward, you're not an undying now, so be careful. You can be taken down with one armor. Nature's Prophet is uh, not to be underestimated. Jacroy. Jacroy is in an uncomfortable position for sure right now. These two, though, can't kill him, especially with the help of his teammates. He's gonna turn around with the bundle strike. Let's go, Fearless. Let's do it, you and me. None with the help of Mamang Daya. And try to go for Fearless, but Jacroy is dropping low. Orb of Venom from Hong Kong under the tower. You don't do damage, you just don't. Physical damage at that point becomes um, useless. Gondry, so be careful. Tag team in a couple of seconds. He doesn't have the boots. Red, think about going forward. Not gonna be happening. Oh, uh, Gondry is gonna be taking a smacking here. The little, not using the tag team. He's gonna use it now, but Gondry finally gets the chance to get into the trees. Trees are gonna be uh, taken uh, taken into Nature's Prophet's own army, but overall it is uh, it is gonna be a nice trading start here for uh, for spawn. Monkey King might be missing on a couple of creeps on the top lane. Bound the strike. Oh, deny on the creep. Yeah, it is gonna be there. Nicely done. Hong Kong. Yep, early levels for the Ariki. This is where he is strong. He has high armor. He has high stats. The Jacroy stands his ground. You shouldn't be standing your ground. He just DP to the lane. No, this is gonna be a disaster. And it is a disaster. Travis might be a bonus that's gonna be going their way. And in the end, they both die on the side of Reaper. But it's gonna be on purpose just to be able to come back to the lane on full HP and mana. And this Monkey King, he's not coming into the lane. Luckily, he's a monkey. So turning into the courier into a crab. It is going to be helping, but this is a disastrous start for Spawn. Actually, it's a disastrous start for Toy as well. The lol, he gets away from Gondry, who's not fast enough. You saw him, you're coming, rawr, but he doesn't get on top of him. He cannot get the hit in, and the Tusk will survive. So both of the safe lanes suffering greatly right here at the start, and Travis is going to have to be the one to secure some of the last hits here. Monkey King, what a unfortunate start. Zero CS. And yep, uh, go to the support roll, noob. Yep, go and pull. That is your job now, Travis. Definitely uh, asserting dominance there as the carry. You know, carry Mirana, support Monkey King. It's not uh, unheard of. Pull. Nice hybrid pull there. 
That's what they're called, but mid lane. Let's talk about this one. Um, early levels, Batrider might be annoying to the queen, but once you get two points in the Shadow Strike, then it is... Uh, it is among Daya. You don't want the six stack on you, friend. Believe me, then the Flame Break comes out and you take massive amounts of damage. Still, he's gonna be able to equalize the uh, CS score here if he uh, lasts it well under the tower and will be uh, will be able to do it. Look at those abs on the uh, on the Queen of Pain. I'm gonna be putting some bodybuilders to shame, but top lane. Uh, RDP is not diving this time around. I thought the second I saw him close to the tower that it's go time again. Not gonna be the case though. So the start still favoring the uh, the side of Reaper, but then again, you know when you look at the uh, the net worth, it's still a little bit in uh, in favor of Spawn. Nice usage of side lanes though. This lane is gonna get easier and easier for the TA. Though tag team and the uh, Treants are actually a nice way to go through the TA because they're separate instances of damage. So you are, uh, you're gonna be burning through those refractions quite easily. Red TP's back to the base. He's gonna be TPing back to the lane fairly soon as well. Mid lane, the bat is still doing well, but. Uh, it's time for him to suffer. Queen of Pain usually goes for three points in Shadow Strike. It prevents you from farming, but it definitely helps you uh, continue to assert dominance against the bat. Though this matchup is not Queen of Pain favored, only because of the lane. That has been changed a little bit with the Sticky Napalm buff, like a half a year ago. Now it does damage, but also later on down the line, because he jumps in and you push him back with the Sonic Wave, and Bat Rider is very reliant on uh, on movement. Decroy is dead again during my rant. I'm not going to be looking at that one, but uh, that's going to be a big one. And this is very important for the Riki to help RDP in the lane. And this lane should have been Monkey King favored. And we are seeing in terms of CS that despite everything, he's doing re relatively well for himself. Fearless, trying to run away. Once the uh, Firefly is out, there could be shards to block him in. But the lol, he cannot wait for that one. It's going to be a little bit too long. But Fearless does get himself the uh, the water rune, so he's gonna be okay having the healing salve. He can continue laning here at this point. Usually the Queen of Pain pushes you out of the lane already, so I'd uh, I'd say is uh, is quite happy with it. Prongs of delightful affliction, basically just a blindfold. Yeah, you know, you put cool names on it, easier to sell. Uh, going for the monkey again, Bondle Strike this time around is gonna prevent it. RDP is still going for that one, he is uh, doing some damage. It's a level 2 Monkey King, he might be farming okay-ish in terms of CS, or was, before he died the second time, but his levels are definitely uh, not there. And some of those CS are gonna be the, uh, the small jungle creeps, so... Not an ideal start, speaking of ideal starts, the TA has 26 CS, he did die once. Not the biggest of deals. Laning phase-wise, Reaper winning. Something that spawned, they weren't banging on this for sure. T-Tours in the chat, please, because uh, definitely the cameraman has been dropping the ball here now. Sorry about that. I can't even say it's been a long day. This is only the fourth game, but it, it, it has been the long day, guys. This is my last game of the day. Sorry. Um, yeah, you know, we can all make it work. Uh, going for the TA, going through the refraction charges quite easily, taking some damage. They do have the Sprout there, but he easily eats through it with the Quelling Blade. So that Sprout isn't really going to be making any kind of a difference here for uh, for Toy. He just stands his ground. We'll have the refraction fairly soon. Gondry, that is a... Uh, Pretty squishy target against the tag team, but look at this! Spawn! All of their heroes are taking some damage without the refraction charges, without the melt. He doesn't have the mana, he doesn't have the cooldown. So Toy, that just doesn't do damage. You see those first two hits with the refractions left. You hurt him a lot, but once he uh, once he loses those, then, then it's over. Bat. Being pressured back, he still has better CS than the, uh, than the Queen looking at the net worth. He is, uh, he's ahead, barely, but ahead. Monkey King, not as bad as it looked. And pretty much everyone is kind of shut down in this game. Toy, I'm uh, gonna get turned around upon, or is it gonna be Red that gets some mag down? So much right click damage between Toy and Gondry, and now Toy is gonna be completely fine. The physical damage is not gonna be hurting him any longer. These treants through the living armor, they are helpless to do enough damage to finish off Toy. And the laning phase continuing to do well for Reaper. Travance. 
Locking some camps, putting some wards down. He was spotted, so everything there is gonna be the warded. Very nice ward coming out earlier from the Ricky. They're gonna go for stacks, and uh, that's not gonna be working out. Rotation from Among Daya does bring down Toy, so... The, uh, the quick TP from the Queen of Pain does land him a kill. He wasn't expecting that one, was, uh, was lacking the mana all this time. Hong Hong. Need to find Travens, who does slay a courier. Now, now it's pretty much apparent there is a war there, but yep, it has given him two couriers. You're still gonna be quite fine with it. He's fighting the Ricky head on. Let's go. One versus one. The battle for the uh, dominion of this part of the map. Let's get a little bit of a better view. Mirana is the one chasing, but the Ricky turns it around. And uh, with the battle rider coming over Hong Hong, he has baited in Travens, who. Uh, you know, I think he accepted his destiny there, which is gonna be death, and now it's just gonna be going down. No leap charges, no TP, no life. He just gets taken down, and this should be a uh, a ward, the warded by Fearless as well. Nice, nice uh, golden experience there being given to Reaper as well. The mid lane, Toy comes over, now he's level 6. He could return to the bottom lane with a level 6, but you have a tree end protector, and that is one thing that we haven't talked about. You want to have a hero that goes into the jungle with a treant, and TA is the best one because she's one of the fastest jungle farmers, the Lul. Ah, uh, well, he needs some help, and the help is coming in forward among that, who does have the arcane rune. Here comes the primal beast, though, and Queen of Pain is gonna have a blink in two seconds, but the lasso, maybe they can catch him. Ooh, was that close? He likes being, uh, tied up, but it seems like Batrider, this guy is just not her type, so. We'll get herself away there with the queen. Four points in Shadow Strike. Okay, that's uh, that's an overkill if you ask me. Sentry, just out of vision there. So, Toy is not gonna be caught by the uh, by the Shadow Strike. Still does have an Arcane Rune, so it's a three second cooldown. You don't really care. So far, so good for Reaper. Two of their cores stopping the network charge. The Batrider, though, he's the space creator, so uh, he needs a bit more, but. Uh, Seems like he's the one that's gonna be taking the Ancient Stack down. This sentry... Oh, it's not a sentry blocking the camp, actually. It's just here on the hill, so... That camp has not been blocked. Okay. Threatening the monkey. Onslaught. Gonna be cancelled. RDP will not go forward. They tried to, uh... To break the Primal Spring. This is big. I thought for minute 7, Spawn just tries... Uh, starts diving. But, uh... Reaper are buying time, and they're doing well. They won the laning stage quite heavily. Especially towards what was supposed to happen. It all came down to Jacroy TPing to the lane because he needed to heal after uh, early fights and then dying immediately. That that really crushed them because now he can leave the uh, the Primal Beast alone on the top lane. And he's not going to be afraid. The toy going to be caught there and uh, taking some damage after the uh, refractions do get burned down. Ulti from the nature actually doesn't hit him. That would have been the last one. Would have been a pretty hurtful one at that. Oh, Primal Beast, bottom lane. They want to defend the tower. Level 2 on the uh, on the living armor. The Lul is still going to be uh, trampled down into the ground. But Mamang Dad does come over. He has the Sonic Wave. And they are going to be going there with the overgrowth. Keeping them in. The Lul, he has something to keep RDP in it as well. But Fearless has come over. And Mamang Dad now, he's in a lot of trouble. The arrow is not going to be connecting onto anyone without the blink. Mamang Dad is dead. And uh, Nature's Prophet is not looking healthy at all. This is the strength of the Path Rider. When you come, when the fight is already over and the enemies have no resources, your damage output is insane. Hong Kong, Travens, you won our earlier battle. I needed some hell, but now it's gonna be a mano to mano that Travens, this time, is not going to take. He understands the tricky. He's not a man of his word. He doesn't duel like a man. He calls his friends. So Travens is gonna let that one go. This start for Reaper... It is amazing, and they might actually win it on the back of it. This TA is going to be hitting her timings perfectly, which means Roche is probably going to be open. The mid lane tower is getting low for spawn. Everything is working for, for Reaper. It needs to continue working, though, because they did lose the, uh, the bottom tower. That is one thing that is good for spawn. But Trend Protector, if he can keep this tower alive for a long time, and if they can take down the mid lane tower of the enemies, then everything changes. Ricky, for uh, three points in smoke screen. He's putting a lot of emphasis on that one. Spawn don't really like playing against that one. No, no one likes playing against the smoke screen. That's why the streaky needs to die early on in the fight. 11 minutes in, only uh, three minutes until he gets the shard. The Ricky hasn't been having the bestest of times in the uh, in the game, so it's a question if he'll get it immediately. But 
you know, supports being poor, normal. Just needs a thousand more gold, participates in one or two kills, and that's it. Trap is set. It's gonna be used there. Tusk sized. Queen of Pain jumps right into that one. They're really not gonna be hitting the Ricky all that much. The only damage comes out from the Wrath of Nature. That's about it. Chakroy. Man, it's a night and day difference. Last game at this point. He was so farmed with the Monkey King. Now, he is struggling. Uh, he's still gonna have a Battle Fury at a decent timing. He's over the, uh, the Power Beast that bullied him in the lane. That's uh, still not ideal. Okay, I have no idea what the Tusk was doing there. Overly aggressive from the low and gets punished with a kill. Reaper. Hong Hong, he wants the Mirana. If he gets the science off, maybe they can do something. They want to open up the map. Looks like it. Like it. Ravens is hiding for now in the trees. Will be fine. Does have the Moonlight Shadow if need be to use it. Oh, this queen is really having a bad time. I've seen queens recover in this patch, but you were against the bat rider. You needed to win that one. The lull. Again, spotted. Arrow not going to be connecting on anyone. That is going to be a nice noble to save himself. Ricky does have a blink out if he wants to use it. There it is. He gets himself next to Thor and the Sonic Wave will destroy him. It connects on the TA, but it's only going to be annoying. Doesn't do any damage. Living Armor will be protecting her and Thor is fine. And now here comes the Onslaught. RDP is in. The traps are set. They are sprung. And the Red is going to be taking down an Arrow. Does connect on to RDP and the Nature's Wrath as well, but it's not going to be any significant damage. The mech... Pretty much counteracts all of the damage that was done to Reaper. They, they continued their dominion over the map. Still haven't taken a single tower, but they're asserting dominance in every single engagement that we've seen from the very start of this game. Spawn are not done, though. The lull wants to go forward. He uh, was under enemy vision there for a second, so they knew, know that he's here. The shards are going to be coming out. Toy has been called. They have the Walrus Punch going for him. Overgrowth is ready. Tree and Protector just got it. He wants to use it. And there it is. Connecting onto everyone. The roots will expand. And now Red. Usually Nature is on his side, but he has betrayed him. And he will be met face to face with a, a ferocious beast. In the end, it's going to be Toy that takes him out of his misery. Meanwhile, Jacroy, the only thing he can do is farm. Push out the lane. He has his battle fury, but he's looking as his teammates are getting slaughtered, and there is absolutely nothing that Jacroy can do about it. The tower will fall. Reaper continuing to crush Spawn in this game, and it seems like Spawn there just uh, cursed to uh, go one-one every single series. Even against Reaper, who have lost every single game, now they're gonna be the ones breaking the curse, making sure. They show they can still win in this tournament against some of the better teams. It'll be a catastrophe if they had a no four. Uh, for now, I'm gonna be happy with it. They uh, they do a bit better in the groups than was initially expected from the uh, first three games. Never know. This might be the time they did turn it all around. They're only halfway there. Hong Kong. Something is being delivered to him. It is going to be a uh, shard, so he does get it at a perfect timing. He went a little bit for a farming mission and now is going to have the sleeping dart. Uh, I can already hear some lullabies in my uh, in my head. Not really good ones, because sleeping only for three seconds isn't going to be all that great. Moonlight Shadow used Fearless. Doesn't have the BKB just yet. Boundless Strike. Arrow. They're going to have it. The damage onto Fearless is going to be enough. Yes, it is. Especially with the Nature's Prophet and his ulti coming in. It's just enough to finish him off. Just before his BKB as well. So Spawn are going to be quite happy with delaying the timing. DD on the, uh, on the TA though. Mid lane tower next on the menu. Very low. They have a Glyph Spawn will use it. Can they get here on time, though? You're going into Ricky with a Sleeping Dart. You only have a Witch Blade on the Queen of Pain and the level 1 Blink. You blink and you're not getting out. So you need to be really careful how you're using that. Is this a BKB game for uh, for the Queen? I guess so. Can't really... Uh, I got much else, but 
tower down Roche next objective. From an objective to an objective, this is what a TA lineup does. If you start getting ahead, it's very easy to do much. Man, he can pulverize the Roche. That is just how powerful the beast is. The scan was used. Spawn, can they do anything about it? It is uh, a fast Roche, not the fastest one though. And uh, the Treants there, they did scout the situation. Red, he sent his uh, minions to do his bidding, but they're only gonna be giving a little bit more gold to Reaper, and in the end, the Roche will inevitably fall. Slamming the ground will not help you. Toy will claim the Aegis. It's gonna be the first Aegis, second one, the most important one for a TA. Not as much for the Ur as it is for an Ursa, but still, you would want to get that shard. And the second Aegis is when you assert your dominance. The second Aegis is where you solidify your lead and possibly even win the game. Fearless. BKB is ready. If he wants to buy it, I don't see a reason not to. There it is. The, uh, the courier will bring it out. Red. Aghanim Scepter. Not just... Not done just yet. Um... They're probably thinking this is a bait. RDP thinking for a second there of diving. Scan was used, but uh, he still don't want to go. Trent has a uh, has a Guardian Greaves. He's going for a BKB on... Uh, no, actually has a Blink. I don't know. What was I looking at, man? On a Primal Beast, probably, yeah. Does have a Guardian Greaves. I'm going for a BKB. Gondry has a Blink. Blink onto Mamang Daya. Overgrowth. Mamang Daya needs to be careful. And immediately he blinks out. There behind the tower, there's a sentry, so Travis isn't uh, trying to uh, check that one. Haste from the bat into the mid lane, they get asleep onto the tusk. That could be an engagement here. The lull doesn't have a snowball, he probably doesn't have his life. Fearless comes over, starts burning him down to the ground. Shards, he blocks himself in, and he decides his faith. This is where I die. The silence onto the Mirana. Actually, the shard in the TA is already there. He's not gonna be waiting for the second Roche. Has no mobility items that's gonna allow the Mirana to get away. Traps on the high ground there. Toy he really wants the star pushing the issue. Which blade will hurt him a bit. Monkey King is farming. He knows that at, at this part of the map he's pretty much safe. Unless there's a bat, of course. Mamang Daya, you have been found. Where do you go? He's thinking, he's thinking. And he uh, finally finds an opening. They have the dust. No dust on the treant. And he and Mamang Daya is gonna be safe. Okay, they have the dust on the bat rider. And... They're gonna last some among die easily bring him down continuing their dominion and the ulti from the nation's prophet That's an aghanim scepter one. They all get rooted, but it doesn't change a thing They're still gonna continue going on this tower and with the creeps coming in no backdoor protection No chance of it surviving and there's gonna be a bonus red. He thought he was safe But he is being followed by a Ricky and oh he feels sleepy red I'm not sure what's happening with me. It's uh It's the end of the nighttime, man. You should be waking up right now, not going to sleep. And because of that, you will be killed in your sleep. And it is going to be Fearless that gets it. 17 to 8. Reaper. They are... Uh, they are really dominating this game. I wasn't expecting this. No, after how the laning stage went... You could say after that kind of a start for spawn, it is to be expected. Usually it's uh, when you have stronger lanes and you lose them, it's a bad thing. Marana now, she's going to be slept as well, though. Seems like uh, Travis will be fine. Leaping Dart, not going to be keeping him in place for uh, a long period of time. He did get the leap off. If he doesn't get the leap off there, he, uh, he dies. That's the only reason he, he survived is because he had a sentry. Wouldn't have known otherwise. Rana is preparing a smoke. Fearless is preparing death from among that. He needs the sleeping dart and the smoke screen. And he's gonna have both because Hong Hong is here. I'm gonna start stacking a little bit. There's the uh, TP out. Might be uh, good enough. No, <laughs> just barely. Among die lives. Is burning down quite fast. RDP tries to take down the trees, but the monkey not gonna be caught this time around. Shards fly out. No one caught in them. The primal beast is gonna be fine. Toy with this DD tier 2 tower was an easy thing to, for him to go through. Toy was stealing the ancients as well. Monkey King, okay, he gets some of them. Still has that ward there, so at least he's somewhat what is happening in his triangle. But seeing and being able to do anything about it are two different things. 
Marana will get on top of a trap if they see him for a second. He gets silenced up for so long. The sleep is there. They're gonna have the silences. And this is a dead Marana. Yep, RDP. I don't know how honorable that death was, but if you say so, Marana. And just came into the triangle and died. Tusk has the blink spawn. None of their item timings seem relevant. The BKB and the Queen of Pain, cool, it's there. But the physical damage of the uh, TA is way too high. At this point, you need to have a BKB and a plate mail, really, to be able to stand your ground. And that is where the uh, big gold lead really comes into play. Spawn, they can only play the bottom lane. And they're going to be pushed away from that one fairly soon as well. Toy also found the Grove Bow. Monkey King. Yep, uh, he does have a BKB. The question is, what do you do against the lasso? Yeehaw, Cowboy Jacroy pops the ulti. Let's go, fight! Let's go if you dare! One versus four, who cares? I'm gonna take you all on. One versus five, that's how you need, how many you need to slay the king. But where? Where are his loyal or disloyal subjects, actually? The rest of spawn, they're just farming. They don't care about their king. He's just gonna be left to his own accord. Among that goes for a TP out, will be successful. In the end, that Ricky did die, I guess, but it's a uh, 9 second BKB and you still lose your life. The game is just a complete disaster for Spawn Toy. I'm going for the tower. He's gonna be taking it down. There is a trap there behind, so they're gonna be seeing exactly what's happening. When Mung Dai with the BKB wants to defend this one, gonna be getting into the nature's grasp, into the trap. There's the glyph. You have to defend it. You don't have outer towers. You don't protect the second Roche without it, and you're just gone. But RDP says you're gone either way. The snowball say not gonna be helping there. The Queen of Pain is way too far away. Doesn't wanna use the BKB just yet. Doesn't wanna use the BKB at all, but she wants to scream, and the pain will be felt by Reaper. Now the, uh, Sprout is gonna be used TA, Quelling Blade in the backpack, can't eat through it, but stands her ground, has the BKB, not a hero you want to engage on. We'll have the uh, Hurricane Pike fairly soon, but the tower will remain defended, and the Queen of Pain doesn't even use the BKB. So far so good, in terms of defending that tier 2. But next time the uh, the enemies come, you don't have the Glyph and oh, look at this ward. It's right out of the vision of the sentry. They were just uh, getting the traps down. Now they can easily get caught. What spawn? One thing I have to say they've been doing quite well in this game is keeping a ward alive in their own triangle. Because that has been the one that Reaper were trying to take all the time. And you're always making sure that it's somewhat protected. Among Daya. And gone on. Gondry has been caught. He cannot go through the shards. You can go through the trees. You cannot go through the shards. And in the end, it's gonna be Travens with a long range arrow from downtown. Boof! Into the face of Gondry. And this is gonna be a kill. So, Monk Dia. Going for a Lincoln's. No surprises there. But armor is gonna be a problem. You need the Lincolns against the Bat. You need the Lincolns against the Ricky. But you need armor against this TA that is becoming scarier and scarier now. With uh, one mobility item, she's gonna have two soon. So you could keep your uh, yourself away from her from so for some time. But not gonna be happening any longer. One thing that Spawn have been able to do, protect the tier 2 on the bottom lane, slow down the game. Roche is coming, it's gonna be an early one. That's what Reaper wants, though before that, they want to win a fight. DD used by Fearless, not the greatest hero to use to utilize the DD with. Spawn in a good position to break those smokes, the lol, his uh, blink is gonna get cancelled, RDP stops there, doesn't want to get stunned by the snowball, nice blink out. It's still not gonna save his life, he's looking very much dead, goes for a TP out, they have the pulverize, they have the kill. It is gonna be a mega kill for Toy, who has only died twice in this game, and... It was uh, well, mostly the laning phase. Marana, Sans, stop. Travis does have a leap. One more available, and he's gonna go right into the trap. They know where you are. You are under vision, and you are under the Primal Beast, which tends to hurt quite a lot, and that is a gem for RDP. Actually, he's gonna be giving it to Fearless. So Marana, not only does she give away gold, she gives away a gem. And now, taking care of the traps, taking care of the vision, it is gonna be so, so hard for them. So we are gonna have a pause on our hands here. We'll see if... Uh... We'll see how, uh, how long it does take. 
Uh, Mirana is, has disconnected. Yep, does make sense, you know. Um, you... You disconnect all of your fans because oh he was lagging you know that that's why he died that's why he gave the gem away I'm just kidding of course that was uh, there was nothing more Marana can do here the game has just gone in such a direction that you as a as a position five Marana you are helpless right Tusk can still get some uh, get some nice uh, saves and stuff but that's about it look at this power pole extend bam. Look at look at these poor creeps, man. I'd I'd be scared, like completely scared if this is what I'm looking at. But they are such bosses. Okay, this guy is scared very much, actually. Um, the first one is scared. The second one, he looks like the buff guy, so he's taking the charge. This one here wants to run away. Understandable. Like look, uh, but look at the form of the monkey. That's a really big uh, martial arts thing. For sure, I really like how they uh, how they did that one. You can see how he extends his back so that he can leverage the strength with which he uh, slams down the ground. I like okay. that for sure. Okay. That was unexpected. What was unexpected for your mar martial arts to be praised? Nope, I'm at home. I'm at home. I do miss Kips now. Or T Panda, or anyone for that matter, because it would be nice to have someone to talk to currently. I know there is a chat full of uh, very nice, cool people who are amazing at the game, but it's still you guys can hear me. Sometimes I feel like I'm talking to myself, and it still feels awesome because Travis is back. Let's go. The game will continue. Second Roche is up. That's going to be a shard one, which is probably going to be given to the Primal Beast, I assume, because the bat didn't go for that kind of a build. Then Travis says, go, I am ready. But he's dead for 28 seconds, so it's not like uh, he needs to be super ready, and it is going to be go time. Reaper are ready to get back into the game and potentially their first win of the BTS Pro Series Season 14 Southeast Asia here in the group stages. We have a round robin group stage, guys. Best of two, like every time. And then we're gonna go into the uh, into the uh, playoffs a little bit later on uh, the group stages. I don't want to say they've just begun, but we're getting halfway there, basically. After tomorrow's day, I think we're uh, we're gonna be halfway there. The final of this tournament is gonna be happening on the 16th of February, so definitely put that one down. But I know that all of you guys are watching every single game, so you're definitely gonna know. There are some other tournaments being played, but this is definitely, uh, you know, the place to be. And uh, Arcane Rune for the bat, and a Roche for a DA. So, um, once the Roche is dead, gonna have a Blink Dagger as well spawn. Are they in any kind of uh, chances to defend this one? They go for a smoke. Not the unhealthy uh, kind of, actually the... Um, the Tusk does have a pipe, so... Uh, not the pipe of inside, but the pipe in his mouth. Anyways, Hong Hong, gonna be caught. Arrow connects, that's a good way to start the fight. Overgrowth is gonna be used only onto the Tusk. The uh, Treant has been rooted too there by the uh, Wrath of Nature. And another smoke from spawn. I saw they had three smokes in their uh, inventory, so they're gonna go for another one. Actually, they have two more, they had four. At four smokes, it's time to take this game back, to get the kills in your favor. It is gonna be the shard onto the Primal Beast. It's gonna be uh, throwing rocks right now. But uh, no one is gonna be on the receiving end of that one. Yeah, I got excited for nothing. Spawn there, not pushing forward. They did push out some of the lanes, but the top lane is still uh, being pushed in. Jalol, jump in. Not too successful. He's gonna be uh, moving himself back, Queen of Pain, blinks herself out, and Reaper, now they are finally back up to full force. Ricky's back in uh, in play. So now you always have to be afraid with spawn if you're if you're out on the map alone. Please, they're trying to use this time for Reaper when they're coming back on the uh, onto the map for spawn to push out the waves. Delay the Aegis as much as possible. 
Monkey King has a Manta. Before you get a Scotty, I, I don't know. I really wanted him to get a Scotty. No Manta does seem pretty nice against the Treant. Asleep, gonna be used. And uh, a hero's already dead. Marana does buy back immediately. RDP is gonna be completely fine. Doesn't care at all about that. Will start trampling the ground. And the trees will get cut down immediately. Now they're jumping in. Toy is gonna be destroying the Nature's Prophet. You're not taking enough to listen to that. But the arrow, the bought back Marana. Gets that one onto the TA. They get the Monkey King out of the Wukong's Commando. So how are you gonna win a fight without that one beautiful? usage there of the sprout not gonna be good enough the sleeping dart it was supposed to uh sleep not kill but it backfired fearless in a little bit of trouble among that he does pop the bkb to remove himself out of the overgrowth fearless is in some trouble he might lose his life here but does it really matter he's being protected by the living armor he is living the Queen of Pain will get herself out in the end. It is going to be a fight in favor of Reaper yet again, especially because it's a dieback on the Mirana. Yes, Monkey King lives. Yes, Queen of Pain lives. But their BKBs are getting lower. Oh, the Sleeping Dart onto the Monkey. Can he, uh, can they catch him? No, he does jump out of the trees immediately and will get himself into the next one. Monkey King just way too much range there with the jumps. We'll be fine. Toy? What's gonna be the next item? Daedalus, Silver Edge, something along those lines, I would imagine. We'll see which one he decides to go for. The TA is losing her timing. The uh, second Aegis is where you completely assert your dominance. So the last out of Tara, I think, with this one has to fall. That's why the monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think. On Boundless Strike, the creeps die. Uh, he's gonna make his presence known. Kills everything other than the range creep country. He does have the Quelling Blade. Ooh, Jacroy, get yourself out. He'll do just that, but the range creep does remain intact, which means Toy can secure the tower. That is what you want. That is what you're coming for. Uh, if you kill that range creep, it was actually really good from the monkey. Now it's, uh, it's not ideal. Sleep onto the lull. TA starting to run over. Beautiful usage of the Lincolns there to save her buddy. Tusk is still gonna be going down. Actually, no. Ogre still totem is gonna be quite nice. And the bounce strike now onto the battle right inside of the Wukong's man. Has the force staff, gets himself out. And the Primal Beast dies. It's a 1 for 0 in favor of a spawn. They are putting traps to protect themselves. Moonlight Shadow was used. They understand this isn't time to go. 50 seconds without the Primal Beast. 50 seconds without your frontliner. No Wukong's command though. That is a big spell for sure. But they still have the Sonic Wave. They still have their BKBs. Monkey King is gonna be slapped. Toy gonna be slapped. And uh, he might be slapped to death the first time. Overgrowth on the two of them among that. Finally pops the BKB. The link is was broken but the lull. The fight started on him. Finally he's gonna die. The sleep onto the monkey king. The arrow is flying in. Toy pops the BKB. Understands the dangers. That would be really bad there if he didn't. The refraction charge is gonna go through. He does have the force staff there to get himself away. Fearless tries to TP out. The bundle strike is amazing. Godric gets taken back as well and he'll be taken down after that one they're looking for more they're looking for hong hong stuck in the trees with a monkey king who knows this territory much better and it is gonna be a double kill for jacroy and a big big fight for spawn it cost them one buyback last time they bought back and they still lost almost everybody this time around one buyback is what it took for them to win a fight without rdp reaper just aren't that strong they're losing their timing no more agus for toy and the next roach is only gonna be in three minutes where the Monkey King will have everything he needs. Toy is gonna be uh, rooted there. They're just pushing in the waves currently. Good choice from spawn. Push in the waves. Make sure that you set up the next fight as well as you did for this one. The Monkey King will have the Daedalus, so his damage output is gonna be much, much more dangerous now looking forward. Red. Gonna have a Wrath of Nature in 30 seconds, just always using it, making sure the waves are pushed out. DA. What's it gonna be? Daedalus? Yeah, full Daedalus for Toy. If he had it in the previous fight, maybe you actually bring down some of the heroes. The Queen of Pain got low at uh, at a point. But things are becoming scary. Mamang die now. He's gonna have that plate mail that we have been talking about. For the entirety of the game, the things are looking up for spawn. Reaper, come on, I hyped you up so much. It looked like you were gonna take it, but... Walking into the late game with a TA versus the Monkey King. It is dangerous. This guy is not close to level 25 just yet. But one more fight like that and he might as well be. Primal Beast. Oh man, that jump in from RDP was so bad. He died without getting anything off. And now the gem is also back on the other side. Everything 
that looked so good for Reaper. Now, not any longer. They still haven't taken the last other tower down. Nature's Prophet being hunted. He does use the scan. Red knows. He knows. But what? No, actually, it was a scan from Hong Hong. Red, what do you do? Do you use the Sprout to get yourself out? He does have the Curse of the Old Grove. The Bat Rider is coming over. Yeah, Red is not getting out to this one. He cannot move. He cannot move. He wants to go. Silence. Not gonna be happening now. Now he knows. He is aware that his life will be taken. This is this, this annoying Ricky. He found me. You're not gonna be able to TP away from that one. Lasso not needed. The Bat Rider is just so cool that he doesn't even look. While NP gets us uh, burnt down, and it is gonna be a uh, a nice kill for them. This is this is what was helping them in the uh, early mid game and mid game quite a lot. The sleeping dart. We'll see if they can utilize it even more now. Looking forward, because the game isn't looking as easy for them to take any longer. The Monkey King is becoming a problem. Moonlight Shadow being used. Trap immediately is set. And sprung. RDP goes for He doesn't have any vision. What are you doing, RDP? You're dying. That's exactly what you're doing. Overgrowth. Gonna be using on many heroes. Monkey King down. Bonus arm. Gonna be keeping it in place. That's a double kill for Jacroy. And now they can go forward. Toy is strong, but he's not strong enough on his own. Ricky is just gonna let himself die so that he can save his TA. But is it really gonna save him? Because Jacroy is not done chasing. Gonna start smacking Toy down in the end. No matter how much you slap this TA, she is still gonna live, but the rest of her teammates are gone. Spawn, they win a fight. RDP twice in a row. He jumps in twice in a row. He puts his team in an uncomfortable position. And now the game is really turned on its head. No buybacks on Reaper. Not a single hero on this side has one. And the team that was losing for 30 minutes are the ones that are pushing the base. Today, E-Home, they had one game in their favor and one fight is what separated them from that win and then they lost the game now it's two fights for reaper that have gone pretty much the exact same way with rdp j dying without getting anything off and with that, they might just lose their axes. Battle will be up in 19 spawn. Do you feel confident enough to continue moving forward? 10 seconds until the Wukong's magic. Croy thinking about it. And he's gonna think again because it could be dangerous. RDP again going in. The snowball is gonna prevent him from slamming that ground even harder. RDP pops the BKB. Still has the uh, the Guardian Greaves. Finally will use them. He will be fine. But the damage was done. No Rax is down, but the tier 3 is down. And playing against the Nature's Prophet. Dangerous territory for Reaper. Smoke. Reaper now. They, they can't wait any longer. The Sroche needs to be theirs. It is a refresher shard one. Double lasso. Maybe double overgrowth. Maybe even double BKB for the TA. We'll see what they uh what they go for. Arcane rune from among Daya was taken. So the Queen of Pain. Her cooldowns. Not to be underestimated. Into the Roche pit. This is gonna be a very fast one. Spawn if they wanna fight. They need to be there right here. Right now. Roche. Half HP. Third HP. Almost dead and spawn. They have no idea that they're giving away such a huge objective. Among that comes over. He's in with it, jumps in, does have a shard, gets the silence. Sonic Wave is gonna be there. Arrow, arrow flying through. Ricky's already dead. Toy, he jumped in. He doesn't have a four step, doesn't have a BKB. It's in his backpack. We'll get to the high ground. The uh, overgrowth still hasn't been used by Gondry. He'll get taken down. Who has the refresher? Who has it? It's the Bat Rider. Double lasso. But now the arrow. Ooh, just off the mark there from Travis. Jacroy getting up to the hill. He needs to get down first. I'm gonna smack down Gondry. They're still trying to hunt for more. But in the end, supports are gonna be the only ones they get. With the Roche being uh, taken by Reaper. I think they're still gonna be fine with that one. But Aegis was taken down. You still have the cheese. You still have the refresher. It's something. Jacroy threatening with a bound of strike there. It has the BKB, so not an easy target. Wukong's command was used. This is looking grimmer and grimmer for Reaper. The only thing they had left there was the gold lead. At least it was in their favor, but not anymore. It is dead even, and Spawn are now favored, even by Dota Plus, to win this game. They're gonna find the uh, Mirana. Let's see if they're gonna be able to bring her down. Does have the Lotus Orb, jumps out. Travis alive for now, not for long. RDP takes a lot of HP and damage. Does eat the cheese there at the end, the beast. It's gonna be a... Uh, take a little bit of cheese, even though he likes the meat even more, but it is gonna help him live. It doesn't matter. He throws some rocks there just to help himself, and he does survive because of it. Ricky, though, he puts himself in a very uncomfortable position that he's not gonna be getting out of. Monkey King slept, but not for long. Lotus Orbs are there. Make sure that... Uh, that is all fine there. So, you know, pretty much just what coffee does in our universe. 
Uh, he's now playing with Jacroy a bit. Gonna be stunned for four seconds. Doesn't matter. Very close to level 25. And now we'll have a DD in a bottle that Reaper will know of. But what are you about to do? What are you to do about it, really? Like, he has a DD in the bottle. He has a Scotty. He has now gotten a few mangoes. This is, uh... This is not looking good. Definitely not looking good. For Reaper. Spawn. I'm still not leading the e kills. You know, that's the uh, one parameter. Or you're doing well. And yeah, Fearless was caught. Ulti from the NP there with the shard. Fearless, he does have the refresher to uh, refresh the TP if he wants to. But I'm not sure you're getting out of this one. Pops the BKB. Getting out. Blink dagger. Nicely done. Arrow flying through. Not gonna be connecting on anyone. But guess what is gonna be connecting? A TD Monkey King connecting into your base. He does have level 25. Come into the ring. If you dare, this is where he, we fight. He's gonna get slapped immediately move their Lotus Orb will help him. They smack down his illusion. They cannot deal with the real guy, though. Considering he's way too powerful now. Hirosh will be up in five minutes. Plus. Three minutes, you know. The most there. Monkey King. He has turned into a flying career. Obviously, he cannot fly. The all going forward. Ogre still totem. The ward will get taken down. Blinking. Not gonna be happening. He does have the halberd, so disarming the TA. It is a possibility. They go for. We don't need to disarm her if she is dead. Kill her. Don't take her weapons. Make sure she's at her strongest when you destroy her. The sleep dart onto the monkey king. What's with the buyback of the TA? Doesn't have it. 1500 gold needed. Spawn don't necessarily know this. They're gonna go for the tusk. Trying to kill him. Not easy to do so. He does have the status resistance there from the halberd. And the lotus orbs are protecting him. Sorry, but get away from my tusk. In the end though, he's gonna die either way. Mamong that continues with the screams and the damage into the back lines. Monkey king thinking about going in. He's gonna have a boundary strike in three seconds. But he just wants to attack without the uh, monkey king bar. He can't do much inside of the smoke screen. Bound to strike. It is gonna connect on three heroes, none of which is gonna die, at least not immediately. But Mamong Daya and Jacroy will finish him off. It is gonna be the illusions that secured the kill. Jacroy now turns back onto the Raxes. Get away. This is our base now. This is our game now. You had your chance. You almost got it. It's not gonna be happening any longer. Hong Hong making sure they're with the smoke stream that they can't push all that fast. But you need to buy 30 more seconds. They do have the glyph. They buy back on the tree, and the living armor is there. So the tower isn't gonna be falling immediately. Buy Buybacks. They do have a couple of those. RDP might just run in, but no, the Wukong's command. Now, if you run in, you just immediately die, but give your life away from the for the Raxes. Without those, you don't win, and it seems like Spawn will take it easy. They were losing for the entirety of the game, waiting for another five minutes to win. It is nothing. They're gonna have their BKBs. They're gonna have that uh, Arcane Blink on the Monkey, just in the like in the previous game, and possibly they wait for Rose if they deem it as a necessary move, but Reaper, they know. No, nothing else to wait for. We have to go. It's now or never. How are you gonna kill anyone without the uh, without the TA, though? This is uh, this is very weird. Batrider does have the Witchblade and the Shard, so his damage output in right clicks is solid. Monkey King pops the Manta, pops the BKB. Lotus Orb is there. If you use that lasso, you're just dead. Oh, they use the Lotus onto the uh, Illusion just to bait that one out. In the end, not gonna be happening. Lasso is not gonna be used. Hong Kong gonna be... Uh, targeted here. He has been rooted. He has been leashed. He will be brought down in just a matter of time. Tricks of the trader being a bit annoying, but there's gonna be a sonic wave. You're not faster than sound, my friend, and among Daya is godlike. Thinking about going for more. Sanjin Kaya, something that he wants to buy. We haven't really looked at items too much, but they, uh... The ones that mattered, we did, though. Monkey. Arcane Blink is coming. He doesn't have a buyback. This could be the timing. Maybe if Reaper kill him. Maybe they do something. But how do you kill him? You can't even kill the Queen of Pain. Last is gonna be used on the Mirana. Bound strike on the RDP. He was running and he's gonna get destroyed. The overgrowth will be there, but it doesn't matter. The monkey warriors are still going ham onto RDP who has a buyback. You better use it now, or her axes are toast. The buyback is ready. The glyph is there. Melee axes are not gonna fall during the duration of the Wukong's command. So maybe you can still re-engage. But Mangda jumps in on Toy, who is gonna be turning around with the BKB, but his damage output is just nowhere near what it used to be. Jacroy, though, he is taking some damage. He's to dodge some of those hits. Jacroy is looking very much dead. He doesn't have a buyback. Is this the thing that they were looking for? Is this the overdive of spawn that they were hoping for? Red is standing his ground and fighting, and they've 
Clean down three, two of which do have buyback. It's only the Monkey King that doesn't have it. They want the Tusk as well in nine seconds. He's gonna have a blink. Hong Hong, can he get on top of him? Should know where he is. Hiding behind the tree. The lull is waiting. Mamang Da comes over. He has a jam. And now it's gonna be Hong Hong that is gonna be going down. The hunter, the assassin, gets the taste of his own medicine. So with that being done, Reaper, let's see, what can they do? Can they secure something toy? He understands he needs to get something big, and it is going to be the rapier that he is gunning for. Before that, see if he can equalize the Rax count, or maybe just do some damage on a tier 3. I don't know. It's not looking like he's going to be able to do it. Let's see. Coming in, Queen of Pain, no pushover whatsoever. He does have a buyback on himself. PA approaching that... Uh, Rapier, Toy, placing some traps. Are gonna be getting gone on Disarmed immediately, but he does get the blink out. The reflect refraction does help him. RDP doesn't have a buyback. You can't die, but he has a BKB also. He gets himself away. The lull dropping low, and the lull is dead, especially with the Batrider coming here. Even the Queen of Pain has to bail. That's a hero, that, another hero that does have a buyback. Toy, he really wants the Raxes. The Glyph, it is ready yet again. Refreshed for the last time for spawn. Toy, gonna be silenced. Does have a BKB, does have the refraction. Level 25, a lot of refraction instances. Mamang Daya, setting his ground and fighting. Don't know if you want to do it. He does blink away in the end. The Sonic Boom is heard. And now the jump in for Fearless is heard as well. And the Marana will be taken down. That's a hero that does have a buyback. But without your two supports, it's hard to start the fight. If you're Spawn, Smoke, Reaper, they, they smell fear. They have the uh, Rapier, TA. She hits like a truck. Finally, her damage is back to uh, something that you're going to be happy with. Toy. He's gonna go forward. No, he wants to find the blink onto someone. Look at the separation of the three heroes of spawn. They don't want to be together with Monkey King. If he dies now, the game is over. The creeps, they're waiting for the creeps. There, the sprout is gonna be protecting the uh, Raxes. They need to burn down that sprout. Fearless. Look, I'm using his fire. Sprout. In a second. Again, no vision. Uh, he's trying to use the trap for vision there. Uh, he can't do it in the end. The Raxes will fall. They are down. Toy takes down the lane of Rax. He's gonna be happy with it. Throw shop in two minutes. Minute and 40 to be exact. And another smoke, man. We didn't see too many smokes in this game. Last game was not fun, but this one. Action all around. Reaper. Spawn. They uh, read the chat. They heard me talking and they said, let's show them how aggressive Dota is done. And they're definitely giving us a show. A second ago, it looked like uh, Spawn were gonna take it. 20 minutes ago, it looked like Spawn didn't have a chance. And now, it looks dead even. This, uh, this rapier could change everything. TA, she's going barefooted. But that just means that you cannot hear her. Even going through the river, the assassin is coming. There's two assassins on one side, but there is a king on the other. Is there gonna be any regicide happening? We'll find out fairly soon. RDP, they're under their own vision. They might run into enemy vision as well. Spawn... A little bit back there. They did go over the enemy trap, so it was spotted. Reaper know. Reaper know roughly where their enemies are. Not exactly. But you're gonna be aware they're there in the vicinity. Can you go forward? The lull is gonna be given a Lincoln Sphere. Mamang Daya. That one to him does have a hex. Level 25 minus 2 seconds blink, so every 4 seconds he's gonna be jumping in with a sonic boom. Condry. Overgrowth blink, he has that. They're gonna be jumping in with a blink dagger, with a hex. They want Toy, they want him dead, but the refractions, they're keeping him alive. He's still alive, he's not taking that much damage, but no, he's gonna be smacked down. 99 seconds dead, but he does have a buyback. He doesn't have, though, is his divine rapier. It is gonna be given to the Monkey King, a divine weapon for a king who gets a triple kill. And with that, this should seal the deal for this game, should seal the deal for this series. TA doesn't have the gold. To buy another rapier and now definitely doesn't have the damage to fight against spawn who are they even gonna go forward or are they gonna take it easy arrow into the roach they're gonna take it easy we take the roach the game is unlosable jacroy has 750 damage per hit he has a daedalus critic for over 1700 and this roach gets smacked down that's gonna be a refresher that's gonna be an agonims this monkey king is just way too strong but they give the refresher to the queen double hex double sonic wave double shiva double bkb it's just so big who got the cheese it's gonna be the queen as well. She might have some uh, mana problems. We'll see if that's gonna be the case. Though with the Shiva and the Hex shouldn't be. 
jump in from the Monkey King. He's gonna have an ulti in four seconds. They get a hex onto the TA, but the TA is just not that much of a threat. And Monkey King is. They're gonna get the last onto the Queen immediately. Stop there by the uppercut punch. Fearless taking so much damage. Fearless is gonna be going down with the Bowser Strike. And there's a shard from the Monkey King going in. RDP, where do you think you're going? You think you're alive? The Sonic Wave will connect onto all of them. Toy though is gonna be completely fine. BKB of the Monkey, not up. He needs to blink himself away. He'll be fine. The Glyph finally gets used. That's no more Aegis. If you take down the Monkey one more time, it's gonna be a problem. Kill onto the Mirana. The gem has been dropped. Reaper, not too mad about the, how the fight went, but they don't have a Primal Beast, and they're against five heroes. Bill, the pressure is there, jumping in. Hex onto the DA. Where's the Wukong's man? There it is. The four staffs. They get him away from the bundle strike. The TA is gonna be fine. But Arya Rax is gonna be fine. This should be Mega Creeps. If they can take it, the Ricky buys back. They need a smoke screen. They're next to the Raxes, but it's gonna be way too late. Gondry jumps in. You don't wanna be doing that, my friend. He does have the Ghost Scepter. Not gonna be helping you against the magical and pure damage that can be delivered by the enemies. The dieback on the Mirana. How much does that mean, though? You have two heroes without buyback, and you're dealing with Mega Creeps. Heroless does have the Lotus or Protect. Him. But look at this, the Glaipner comes out, you are all rooted. Red has been rooting them quite a lot in this game. Fearless trying to get himself away, he doesn't have a buyback, has to pop the BKB. Jacroy, really big if they could kill him, if they could get this Divine Ra Rapier back. The Lotus Orb not going to be protecting him all that much, but it does remove the stacks. Bound the strike, nicely done there, just to get himself away. The Bat Rider leashed, he does have a four step going for Jacroy. There it is, the Rapier is on the ground, but can he take it? Can he deliver it to someone else? No, he just lets Red get it. So from one hand to another, nothing less worth it onto the Nature's Prophet, who can give it to the Monkey King if he wants to. But for now, he's gonna be using the big sword, showing that he's worthy of its damage. And Red, man, in that fight, coming in with the Gleipnir was a big deal. 25,000 gold lead, the most we've had, but it's not about the gold lead, it's about the mega creeps that are coming forward to just destroy your base. We know that the TA is good at dealing with them, but he needs his rapier and... Yep, it, you stole my sword, it doesn't matter, I'll forge another one. TA, going forward, getting out of the base, running... The Naruto run. You know the rest. Anyways. Toy, going for a push. He wants the Monkey King buyback. You're not getting that one, though. You don't have the rapier. You're definitely not gonna be, uh... Not gonna be a problem. Red. Rapier. Toy. Towards the tower. Okay, he wants to get one more lane to go their way. He's been rooted there by the NP. Ooh, nice blink out just in time. RDP tries to get himself out. He might be uppercutted here. Nice disarm onto the TA. They hex her as well. They're not allowing her to fight. Does have a force that gets out of the shards. No one has died just yet. Sonic boom among that. Gets the signs. There's gonna be another breaking there on the sound wall, but only Fearless will hear that one and feel the pain from it. They turn around, going onto the bat. The, wo the walrus punch is there. Bat gets low, but he's gonna be fine. No, now the Monkey King is back into the fray. And and Toy is just surrounded by the Monkey Warriors. That's gonna be a dieback. That's gonna be it for this game. Is it time to call it? It probably is because the creeps are overwhelming your base and you don't have the main guy, the top dog that should be dealing with those. Who has the rapier? Uh, it seems like... Oh, no one, no one. Where is it? Where is it? What the hell? Okay, there it is. It's in the ground and here comes... The worthy one to pull it out of the stone and show that he's worthy of it. Anyways, Monkey King is gonna be a uh, lasso here. The arrow does connect onto the uh, onto the Ricky. Still no MKB, so that uh, smoke screen is a problem for you. And this game now is definitely over. It's time to just seal the deal, and they will be calling GG, raising the white flag, tapping out. But first, they're gonna be knocked out by spawn. Because they do get the throne before it explodes on its own. Reaper, they gave it their best shot in this game. Their best shot wasn't enough. It was looking like they were gonna win. It was looking like the game was theirs. And in the end, that is not what happened. It is gonna be spawn team that get the victory in this best of two series. So today, we had one equal series and we had one win by... The favorites of the series, but either way, it looked like it looked like Reaper were gonna be uh, winning their their first match. In the end, that's just not what happened, and uh, I kind of feel sad about that one, to be honest, because uh, it's uh, it was just so close. 
I mean, if we look at the graphs, if we look at the win probability at this point, it's almost 15,000 gold lead. You have the TA, you have the second Aegis. It's perfect. But you just don't... Uh, you just don't use it. You just don't use it that well. And that's... Uh, that's a bummer. So, guys, well, that's... Uh, that's pretty much gonna be it for uh, for today. We did have some nice games. Uh, the first one was E-Home versus Neon, and that ended up being a uh, a one-one. Then we had uh, then we had this one, Spawn versus Reaper. It ended up being a two-zero, and that's gonna be it for today. Uh, I mean, unluckily for me, unluckily for you guys, we didn't have Kips here today, but we're gonna have her tomorrow. Tomorrow we have three series, if uh, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, well, let me check that one for you guys so that you don't have to do it yourself. We do everything for you guys here, and I think that is uh, going to be the case. Yeah, we're going to be having three series every single day until the end of the tournament tomorrow. It's Polaris versus E-Home, then we go into UD Wezzelon versus Xerxia, and then we go into Spawn versus Myth Avenue Gaming. So three best of twos, a lot of Dota. Kips is going to be joining me, so the action is it's going to be even more fun for me. It's going to be even uh, more fun for you. So thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing with me today. You have been an amazing audience. Audience, like always, and we'll see you all tomorrow for more great Dota. Bye.